last time on Brenda's Dollhouse Adventures, I wanted to replace this balsa wood because it was warping on one of my floors, and I used wood paper instead. And I have a marvelous idea to try gluing it down with hot glue, and I learned how to use hot glue and how not to. Went through three sticks and lots of blow dryers. <laughs> And I hated it. It warped everything. Every time I had to melt down the glue to smooth things out, it warped something else. So I tore that all out. And scraped this clean. And I bled for it. Okay. Now, one of the big reasons I had such a problem is, take a look at this. I, yes, I took this out. On this, you have different angles on each side. So I couldn't just lay the paper down. I had to shape it and cut it, so trying to do this while this was installed was not a good idea. I've not done the other floors while they were installed. Why did I think that would be a good idea? Now I have this. And I've decided against a wood floor. I have decided on something really cool for a wizard who time travels. Take the liberties of pre-cutting this, but check this out. Is that awesome? It is. Totally. So it does have a fireplace, and the fireplace is going to fit right back in here. In fact, there's these wonderful markers here. I um, had other ideas I had done before. However, it's to be practical and reasonable. I know it's not a real fireplace, but if it were, you certainly would not want wood or leather in front of it. I have a brick sheet. So I'm going to carefully measure out a little bit of this and I'm actually going to install that on here first. This is all the way down to the floor now. I never was much of one for being too exact, which could explain last time's fiasco. Oh, we're going to be right about here. Over here. Here looks good. You know, if I go too far, the carpet's going to cover it anyways. And again, I don't get to look at that. It's not nice. Kind of. I wouldn't think it would take that much. But you know what's nice? If I put too much in, I can always remove it. Or cover it up with carpet. So I'm going to use good old-fashioned Elmer's glue for this because I don't need hot glue. It was not a good experience, all in all. Yeah, I don't course. know how to use it very well. And yeah, really, it's just like, it's so stressful. Okay. Wow, somebody's kind of a wuss. Yes, somebody is. I don't know who that would be. Oh, my dog. Yeah, your dog. <laughs> So because of these two, anything I put over it is going to lump and sit weird, and the fireplace is actually flush with the floor. So I have to cut it. So I have to cut. Like my ex-friends. <laughs> my life. <laughs> I have to cut a little slot out. So that the cut that little slot out. Of my life. <laughs> so <laughs> it will fit. Don't need that slot in my house. <laughs> oh, you do need that slot in your house. I don't know why that slot is there, actually. I could use tape. Tape is my friend. I like tape. Glue Not is a fired. My frame. I have two-sided tape. My life. Which is an adventure to get out. Will it work if I just put the minimal on, on one on each side? Let's find out. <laughs> Let's Ooh. find out. Ooh. Three! Three sensors. It's three legs to the center of my house. Wait. <laughs> Out. Oh, wow! Hey, there's teeth and on here. Another one bites the dust. <laughs> it is just a thumbprint. Just a, just a tooth print on my thumb. You still your band-aid on for your finger? No, I, I, I got well enough. 
Wow. I heal well. Somebody's bragging. <laughs> Somebody is. I used this backing to press it down because otherwise all the oil on my fingers is going to defeat the purpose. All right, now what I need to do is try to take over the world. Definitely got to try to take over the world. So I have my fireplace right there, but I still need to open this up enough to see that. <laughs> and making my careful measurements. Oh, it's such a joke. Oh, right, yeah, that's not acceptable. Two and a quarter deep by... Six and a quarter long. So, now then. Where are these measurements? That is not how you crochet. One, two, and one quarter. Ta-da! I, well, if I can't flip it over and see what I'm doing. Mortal problems. Yes. Uh, it might be a mortal if... You have to wear glasses. Oh gosh, I do. Nerd. <laughs> Handy dandy cutter. Eee! This doesn't seem right, but you know... It always cut short. You had to go over it, Mom. It's going to cut through. Wow, that is amazing. <laughs> it doesn't seem like that's enough. And try it on for size. And this is why I don't make my own clothes. Hey, you need your own skirt and it turned out great. yourselves a daughter like Leanne. She's amazing. You know, yeah, everybody should have a daughter like you. It does work. Wait a minute. Does it? Come back. I'm here. Well, somebody's just trying to ruin my parade. Yeah. Ruin. Ha. Uh -huh. Knew I did something wrong. You said they had scissors. Fine. Yeah. Scissors I shall use. Thank you. There. So this beautiful floor, it's perfectly fit here, is not going to slide into the dollhouse and fit. So I'm actually going to have to trim off my ex these two corners right about to here in order to be able to slide it in. Now the back, the back is just fine. It'll go up flush against the wall and there's no overlapping coving. No, I'll use your rotary over there. I know approximately how much. So as thick as this is, that is really a bare guideline at all. Uh, through past experience with the carpet expanding and such, I know I need to come beyond a little bit there, which gives us just about a half inch. So I'm going to trim that up on each side of here and put that back on. I'm going to tape it down with that handy dandy two-sided tape. It is. It needs to be. You know what else looks big? My ego. <sighs> wow! Center that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> this makes it so easy. I can't cut a straight line to save my life. Before I make anything too permanent, it's time for another fitting. Make sure I can slide this in.
carving tools are meant for like bulk cutting, not for like fine tuning. Yeah. Good. All right. So I have decided hey, the Elmer's glue came back out. The tape is good for some things, but on something like this, that's a real fine tuned mistake that I made. I'm going to use this. Elmer's glue. To reattach a piece that I didn't actually need to cut off. To reattach. You know. To reattach the piece I didn't actually need to remove. No, that's why people take measurements. I don't know how to measure. One of the reasons I used double-sided tape in order to put down my other two carpeted floors instead of glue was so that it could be more temporary. But, now that I know how to remove glue, I'm not too worried about that. It probably has a clot bigger and deeper in it. You use there you go, it's good. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. Make sure. So you open up the tent and use whatever side you need to. Just take off the lid. Craft keeping. And dig out the chunks. In here or in there? In there. I'm making sure it wasn't in here. This is low, so I'll keep it outside for you. And I have tissues to wipe it over you. Good. <laughs> Thank you. Welcome. My assistant. You're a helper. You know, I've actually had this glue in my kit for hmm, four or five years, and knowing me, I did not buy it new. As in, like, found it in some craft kits somewhere. Why does your finger be too thin? Paying particular close attention to where the seam is because that's what's most likely to lift and after that I should just be able to glue down the edges. While this sets, I am going to go wash off the glue off of these very useful tools.
Well, remember all that wood that I cut and all those strips that went to waste? I found a use for them. Every house has trim of some sort on the bottom down here. I'm zooming in. So, I have pre-cut a piece that I'm going to place right there to add a little bit more class to her room. So, I use this with the highest class glue called Elmer's and it works because this doesn't have a sticky back. I'm going to put that beautiful piece of wood right there. Would you see what I did there? Bank on it. I used the wrong piece. What? Would you see what I did there? <laughs> Would you just see? Ha ha! I have another one. Look, you have glue already on the said place. How convenient. I already put the glue on. There. And now I even have the right baseboard on. So, Ramane and Ellie had a discussion. Actually, Ramane kind of really took it out on her. So the poor girl ended up having to rip up all of her carpet and I had happened to have already on hand this lovely purple sparkly carpet which was originally going to go in Ramane's room and I totally forgot because that's how I buy things. Crafting. And so Ellie and I installed this same methods as we used over here. Get a nice neat cut and she still had to rebel a little bit. We can't just let the wall be wallpaper. So we ended up putting some bling on the steampunk. To cut out the carpet, I used a rotary cutter. Now this was trickier. Ramane's room is flat on one side. Allie's room has all these angles. So a round wheel doesn't cut a square peg very well. So we had some adjusting to do and I conveniently have furniture placed where it doesn't look so pretty because furniture is needed. So Ellie's room is redone and Ramane's room is just plain done. <laughs> okay.